Hey, yo, welcome to B-Boy Tech Report. Um, we're going to get into these CME X-Key 37s right now. This one is long overdue, and uh, I want y'all to check this out. So you probably remember that I brought to you this here joint right here. This is a 25-key X-Key 25, right? So that's a 25-key uh, keyboard. has a little orange USB cable that goes with it which I kind of like. They changed that with the newer one. I kind of felt like this one was a part of its character. So at any rate, I mean, that's still good. It's still a great keyboard. It has the octave up and down. You can modulate it. it has, it's a keyboard with aftertouch and it's, it has a very thin profile. You gotta love that. You can shove that right into your book bag and it's very lightweight. Probably, uh, I can't remember the exact pound, but it's very lightweight. Um, it has the, uh, octave up and down the modulation the the button it's, it's just it has everything you need here so it's not the typical um mod weld sort of thing that you usually would have on a keyboard but this is the perfect keyboard for travel on the go not only that though i found that it found itself right at home in my studio um if you're a person that has multiple MIDI keyboards and you run it all through whatever your sequence of choices, whether it's Ableton, NPC, or machine, you go through the whole channel thing and sometimes you'll find that if you're using, uh, for instance, I would use my Prophet 8 as a keyboard controller sometimes, but then if you have sequences running and your say your NPC is, or your, your, your DAW is playing a sequence and uh, the particular keyboard, keyboard that you're using has a sequence playing through it and the music is going through there, whatever line, synth line that is. If you go to another channel on a different track and you try to play, say, a software synth or another synth that you have, then you're also playing notes on that synthesizer that's a keyboard controller too. So you may have to turn that down just to put in the next line, but you can't hear. So can, there's some quirky things that you have to deal with when you're using a synthesizer and a... Um, rather complex or not so simple MIDI rig to sequence stuff. I said all that to say this, that's where something like this comes in handy. So this found it's, it's a home in my studio because I would use it on the desk on the side to do the um, programming uh, or playing soft sense. So that's where this comes in handy. But that's old news, you guys know about that. That's the CME X key. X key 25, right? Two octaves, USB. Pretty simple, gets the job done, and I still use that. But now we have something that's a little cooler, um, and that is the CME X key 37. Like I said, I'm a little overdue with uh, getting into some of these reviews, and this is one of them that I plan to bring to you directly after NAM, but better late than never. This is an improvement in several different ways over the original keyboard, the original 25 key, All right? So you can see these are the two of them. Obviously, the 37 key is longer to fit those other keys that are there. So this is a 37 key keyboard and it also is connected via USB. Um, but it uses a white USB cable and I, I won't show that to you because it's connected and I'm going to kind of just play a little something, you know, with my so-called playing of the synths a little later just to demonstrate to you. But this is also aftertouch. Um, it has all the, the, the same connections or buttons that you had before. Um, octave up and down, as you can see. It has octave up and down. It has the modulation and it has the uh, pitch bend plus and minus and it has the sustain, right? Now that's a little different. Firstly, not only is the size different, um, there's still very thin profiles, but the difference is here, if you look on the initial one, you can see what the buttons were more like symbols. And what does that mean? I don't know what those symbols are. You play it, you'll get to know what those symbols are. But on the new one, they're words, as you can see here, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much the same interface 
I've always loved these just because of how thin they are. I mean, you gotta love that. And in my first video, I mentioned that um, if Apple was to design one of these keyboards, it would look like this. And the reason I said that is because of this, right? You guys have seen that before. If you see how thin it is, this is the same sort of design sensibilities and they took a couple of design cues from there. And I appreciate that because obviously Apple is world renowned for their design cues and it fits nicely on the desk when you have these things like so, touchpad. Um, so when you have all of these things, they kind of just work nicely together. The the aesthetic that you can see them and they all have that they all have that low profile. And this obviously weighs a little more because there's more keys and it's, you know, a little longer. There's more material here. But you can still stuff this down. Well, it's a little longer, so it may not go just stuffed down into a bag so easily anymore. But it's still very friendly and you can now chain these together which I haven't done, but you can chain these together and it comes with two cables. So there lies the extension of the other features that you have with it. The two cables that you have is obviously the um, white USB cable, but this is the original one, the, the, the orange one, which I wish they would stick with the orange. That's such a kind of a calling card for the CME um X keys, but anyway, that's just a small thing. Anyway, they still give you the same sort of uh, um, USB cable, but in white. That's that. But in addition, they give you the expanded capability of this here little breakout cable that plugs in on the opposite side. And I'm just gonna disconnect that here and show it to you. This little breakout cable, sustain pedal, yes, yeah, sustain pedal. Um, well, that's expression pedal and sustain pedal. So you can plug both of those in, right? Uh, sustain pedal and expression pedal. But then you have MIDI out. That to me is very important. So you can plug this into USB. It's important to me because I have um, hardware synthesizers. And I've really gotten into a couple of VAs in the last year or so. Yes, the last year or so. Um, because if I'm going to use a VA, I want to use some of the dopest VAs that ever did appear on the scene. So I have a Virus B and I also, which you probably know, I have a Korg MS2000R. And so what's cool about this is that you can use that MIDI out and connect it to your other synth. And, you know, that gives you the connectivity without having an extra keyboard and all of this. It just makes things a lot more convenient. And it didn't have that on the previous uh, X key 25. Um, I'd have to do a little research. I don't know if they've redone the X key 25 to offer this breakout cable as well. But if they did, that's that's great because that would be, I guess, an X key 25 like V2 that you can get this extra connectivity here. Now, I will say that um, just to tell you, the the USB cable plugs in on this side. Let's, let's go back. Okay, so I'm holding it right here, kind of vice versa. So um, the USB cable plugs in on the right side. The breakout cable plugs in on the left, like so. Right? Um, the only thing about it is it becomes a little bit of a, a spaghetti monster, right? But you get all this great functionality. So for those that are, are need those features... It makes it a lot easier to be able to do that. You don't need an extra device that does all of that for you. And it still has all the great playability that it's known for. Um, you probably know that Jordan Rudis is uh, um, sponsored by the company or part of the company in some sort of way. Um, I think he has a position in the company, if I remember the news correctly. And he probably wouldn't lend his name to just anything. The playability, he's a world-class synthesis synthesis and he's a world-class player synth player piano player so um he probably wouldn't lend his name to any product that didn't uh speak well to the playability of it all right so this is indeed a great product you have a lot of playability with it a lot of options with it but it still remains at its core a really thin and sleek travel compatible companion for synth players and beat makers um so that's what's up. That is the CME X Key 37. I'd recommend you go out and grab it. 
This is B-Boy Tech Report. And um, let's see if I can get a little bit of a demo, all right? So here we have the uh, CME X-Key 37. I got it all hooked up. Um, let me just give you a little bit. I, I pardon the, the mess over here. This is uh, what I'm using as my primary sequence of the MTC RIN. And I got this little guy over here. Obviously, uh, for those that don't know, on a side note, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, however you want to pronounce it, is a dynamite combination with any other, like, you know, an MPC or a machine, um, that kind of thing with the rhythm so you can have your own sounds and design your own sounds. But I'll get around to that at a later case. So just to give you an idea of the setup here, um, that's the computer here. You come down and um, my synths are kind of over there and over there. So I use this to play the soft synths. And I have it hooked up to a sustain pedal, as you can see. It's this connection here. And I have the MIDI out going to um, my virus B over here. And the sustain pedal uh, that we use is right down there. So um, it makes it easy to kind of incorporate the soft synth playing and kind of get involved. And, and obviously, like I said, it looks good with this guy standing right here or the, the Apple keyboard, the Apple touchpad. And um, it's just on the riser, the MacBook is there. But it makes it easier to be able to play, um, as you can see from the profile. So there's the MPC, and this just sits right on the desk. It's 37 keys, so you can actually play with two hands and get a little more playability out of it. Um, and use the sustain pedal and make it easy to incorporate your hardware sense with that MIDI out with your software sense. So that's the X key 37. Um, one of the biggest criticisms that I had for it before was that I thought it would be really fresh. Put that right there. I thought it would be really fresh if they had a Bluetooth version. And, well, our prayers were answered. So they have a Bluetooth version now. And that is the 25 version. And this is the 37. So this is B-Boy Tech Report. Check back another time. I'm saying if you need a good playable synth or keyboard controller, um, this is a good option. I would recommend you go checking it out. It's actually one of my favorite because of its low profile. Look how low that profile is. I mean, there's nothing out there quite like it. Um, there are a lot of controllers out there, but nothing is quite as playable as this one and to have aftertouch. Um, and and all of these things over here that you would typically get on a, a bigger model. It's priceless. So this is a dope joint. B-Boy Tech Report signing off. I'm saying that the X-Key 37 is certified dope. Go out and cop one. Peace.